Good day, everyone, and welcome to the Super Talk. We're excited to be here today talking about a very important topic and uh, here with Mr. Mark May, who is our director for community information and also marketing. And my name is Jay Gonzalez. I'm superintendent of schools, and I'll let Mark May tell us about our wonderful guest. All right. Oh, good afternoon to you. And our guest is Miss Delinda Alcantar. She's a former teacher in McAllen ISD, is now the director of the McAllen Boys and Girls Club, and also is a trustee of South Texas College. So uh, she wears many hats in our community. And the Boys and Girls Club partners with McAllen ISD in many ways to enrich each child's experience in McAllen and today she's here to talk a little bit about uh, what parents can do and can expect this summer. And we're excited. I know that McAllen ISD is a high-performing school district. Uh, to all the parents and students out there, very proud of our effort. But I do want to let you all know that this would not be possible without the Boys and Girls Club of McAllen and Delinda Alcantara's leadership. There's just so much that goes on, Delinda. I know that we have the Elevate program that's just rocking and rolling. We have right. our, our, I mean, our, our programs for kids in the summertime where they can go and, and actually prevent that summer slide and, and just so many wonderful things that are going on. And I, as a parent, have benefited. Uh, Sheru and I, my wife and I, send all of our kids to the Boys and Girls Club. They're a part of the Elevate program. They, they're in all the camps during the summertime, and, and we've seen the benefits. Uh, so, Delinda, what's going on in your world? Yes. Well, my world right now is super focused on what all families are going to do in terms of summer plans. So I'm here as a mom, as a community, you know, um, member and an educational researcher, right? So that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. The importance of every single um, family and every single parent having a summer plan for their child, right? So like you mentioned, summer learning loss is a really huge thing, right? We're still academically, socially, in terms of the mental health space, we're still seeing just the effects that the pandemic has had on our kids. So even before the pandemic, we were talking about summer learning loss and how if you don't have a plan for your child, then there's going to be a slide that happens. They're, they're going to regress, but especially when it comes to minority communities. So, you know, Brookings Institute, Pew Research, all equity education and, and education researchers are all pointing to the value of um, having a summer plan. And it has to have, it has to be one that's very much like evidence-based, right? So not just like anything, but that there's some real thought put into it. I am proud at the Boys and Girls Club of McAllen. It is evidence-based. So what families would look for is anything that will help prevent that summer learning loss. So, you know, having some time for reading. Nobody's saying, right, I'm not telling you and Sheru that your kids have to be somewhere like every single day and every single minute, um, but you do need to have a plan. So something that can promote literacy, socialization, physical fitness, um, uh, something in the mental health space. So all of those things is what I think we should focus on. So to all the parents, I know that you guys are busy. And that's one of the things we pride ourselves in as a school district is uh, families are busy. So when you send your kids to McAllen ISD, we're going to do all that we can to get your kids ready academically, socially, emotionally. So they're not only book smart, but they're people smart and they're self smart. And the Boys and Girls Club of McAllen is right there with us along that journey. So we're very, very happy to have this relationship. And I know it's grown over the years. And just, just thinking of the Elevate program, that's one where we have right under 2,000 kids competing. And it's just, I know for my kid, he's amped. He's playing baseball right now. And you would have thought he's playing for the World Series, man. It's just <laughs> one of those things to see those competitive juices flowing at such an early age. And and then the camps, all the camps that go on, they're, they're looking forward to that too. So so to all the parents, just know that these things are fun too. So if you haven't gone and, and checked it out from, from one dad to another, one parent to another, I'm saying go check it out. Look at all the cool programs that are going on. That way during your busy schedule, because work continues for many of our parents during the summertime, Boys and Girl Club, they have your back. So just make sure and, and, and reach out to, to Delinda and her team and they'll take care of you. So what are some of the things that are going on for kids this summer, Delinda? Yeah, in McAllen. So it's not so, yes, I love it. Of course, I'm super biased. I think Boys and Girls Club of McAllen does it best. However, it, we're not your only option. And so again, I'm, I'm here really urging all parents to have a plan. And I do want to say something really quickly. Yes, the programming itself is really valuable, but McAllen ISD actually has feeding, you know, a, a food service program throughout the summer. And I, and I want to talk about, you know, if, if I can be real for a minute, you know, my son just got back from college and he's been home for a few weeks and I have gone to the grocery store countless times, right? Because if a child is just at home, what do they do? They're on their smartphone and they're eating, and so for many of our families, food insecurity is a real issue. So whether you go to Boys and Girls Club of McAllen, whether you go to a McAllen ISD camp, whether you go to something with City of McAllen, Parks and Rec, UTRGV, STC has great camps. If you go to churches, different places, and I'm 
pretty positive that they can go to the McAllen ISD website to find out all of the places that, that will be offering, um, you know, food for the summer. So I want to plug that too, that it, yes, it is also, it primarily is about the child, the health and wellness of the child, the well-being of the child in the summer, preventing that summer learning loss, making sure they're, they're getting that physical fitness, get them off the couch, right? Give them a plan and don't give them an option. Because I had a little boy tell me, no, miss, I don't want to tell my mom because I know you're not going to let me use my phone all day. No, 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 no. We have to oftentimes choose what's best for our kids, right? So again, urging all families. And I listed several things that are happening in McAllen. They can go to McAllen ISD's website. There's a ton of camps that still have spaces available. You can go to our website for Boys and Girls Club of McAllen. City of McAllen has some cool stuff going on. STC, UTRGV, again, private churches, other nonprofits. IMAS also has something. So there's something for everyone. Again, the theme of today is really just have a plan for your child for the summer. And, and when it comes to being a high performing school district, it doesn't happen in isolation. So I love that they we're having we're having this conversation because you're right. All the entities that you just talked about play a key role in our success. But the name of the game is for all of us to stay focused and busy and not let these kids not work hard during the summertime. We want them to have fun, but we also want them to focus on literacy. We want a little bit of mathematics in there. We want them to write a little bit of robotics. We want them to play some sports and keep their bodies moving. So the last thing we want is a kid on a device all day long right. where, where they're just kind of regressing toward the mean because McAllen ISD is a high performing school district. But once again, it takes a team. So right. what are some of the things I know I talked about robotics. I talked about literacy, mathematics, all the hands on stuff that we do in the district. And I know you guys do the same. So what are some of the things that are going on at the Boys and Girls Club? We do. So this summer, we're really excited. Um, our summer theater production has been insane. So just like anything cool, um, it started off with just a small concept. Let's let's introduce the arts into our summer camp. And now we're going to be in our second year of, of um, having the summer production at the Performing Arts Center. What a beautiful space, right? Our kids at the Boys and Girls Club of McAllen, they deserve the best. And so we show up and we give them the best. So um, our kids will actually be performing Beauty and the Beast and we go all out. So that's another really big thing that we're excited about. That'll, that performance will happen at the end of July. But of course, we have our summer sports that are kicking off and you're never gonna believe this number. Close to 3,000 kids are registered to play sports at the Boys and Girls Club of McAllen. 3,000 children will be moving around, socializing, learning some lifelong lessons through our sports program, right? I have a super lofty goal of having close to 800 kids registered and attending summer camp through the Boys and Girls Club of McAllen. We're getting really close, which is super exciting. And when you go to a summer camp, it's very much sort of like a school, right? We we take it very seriously, the work that happens in the summer. So you get there, you eat breakfast through McAllen ISD, and then you start rotation. So there's a science class, there's a game room, um, there's computers, we have brain gain that's that's really evidence-based and, and is appropriate for the age, but we also have a, a, a social worker. So a professional social worker to help with the mental health, as well as officially a part-time professional social worker. And again, a ton of fun. So we have field trips, all kinds of stuff happens at the Boys and Girls Club. There's something for everyone there. So to all the moms and dads out there, all the kids, just take advantage of this opportunity because not every city is as blessed as we are to have a quality Boys and Girls Club led by Delinda Alcantara. I mean, you talk about the fact that your educational background comes into play. I think that the fact that you're a, a board member at South Texas College, just ex your experience as an entrepreneur, just experience as a mom, it just kind of gives you this, this uh, eclectic kind of view at our community and, and you create these systems that are beneficial. So telling you, moms and dads, get your kids signed up for the Boys and Girls Club at McAllen. You will not regret it. And, and more than that, your child will grow. I was just... Uh, at a baseball game, Elevate baseball game the other day, and, and Joe Douglas, my oldest son, he's in fifth grade, he's on the mound pitching, mm -hmm. and you could it's competitive, so the other crowds, you know, come on, no pitcher, and throw a ball, and, and I'm thinking, what a cool experience that is for a fifth grader to be under that kind of pressure to perform at that mm -hmm. level, because that's really what life's all about. 100%. So the Elevate program is giving kids an opportunity to feel that, because used to, you'd have to wait to ninth grade to play baseball. Mm -hmm in McAllen ISD. And now we brought baseball to seventh and eighth grade. We're going to have middle school baseball and softball. We already have golf, but boys and girls club took it a step further through the elevate program. 
and we're starting in fifth grade. Mm -hmm. Man, you talk about a pipeline. That's right. It's going to have a profound impact on the quality of our program. So I'm excited. Well, and my daughter, Madeline, also took the mound this year. So she was in Elevate Softball last year as a sixth grader. And she really, really loves being able to to lead out on the mound. And so this weekend, again, now she's a seventh grader here in McAllen. So she is at De Leon. And I was very excited because you talk about these lifelong lessons. You know, for me, my heart is not only athletic development, right? I coached for a very long time, all sports when I was in public ed. Of course, I'm married to your most amazing um, athletic coordinator here in McAllen ISD, Marco. But for me, it's never been just about the actual skill of a particular sport. It's everything that comes with it. So the way you mentioned with your son and the way I saw with my daughter, the they, they learn to persevere. They learn to lead. I mean, she got to a point where she really understood the game and could call different things out to the outfield like, hey, two down, you know, we have somebody on one and really starting to communicate. And what does that look like? You know, when you look and apply it to to adulthood and to your career, it's being in a boardroom. It's being able to facilitate, to have all of the players, to know what's going on in real time. That's an entrepreneurial spirit. And it's happening now with Elevate through the Boys and Girls Club. And of course, our partners at McAllen ISD in fifth grade. And I do want to give you a fun fact. Um, fifth and sixth graders, because of the Elevate program and our partnership, two out of every three kids in McAllen ISD are, par- are, are uh, participating in an Elevate sport. That is an insane data point, and we're super proud of it. So, you know, we're going to continue with this relationship. It really is very, like, kid-centric, kid-focused. So I think that's really important. And in speaking of being, like, kid-centric, um, we do have a ton of scholarships still available at our Boys and Girls Club. The community comes out really big annually and also knows the value of summer camp. And so we have a ton of community members, corporations, that really rally around our kids. And so we have a lot of scholarships that are still available. So if it's need-based, but we also take like a case-by-case basis. So you can, you know, visit our website. It's actually www.bgcmcallen.net. And if it's cool with you, Mark, and if it's cool with you, Dr. Gonzalez, um, I'd actually like to give away a free summer camp. So if you are listening in on the comments, we're going to actually be looking at the comments um, here with the McAllen IC Facebook page. And any comment, we're going to choose one person to give a free $250, $215 summer camp for free. If you just tell us why you think it is so valuable for your child to go to summer camp at Boys and Girls Club of McAllen. So we got one winner that we'll be looking in the comments. I'm going to put a comment in. I'm going to put it in quick. So you <laughs> all better already, go fast. I think you already paid. No, I know, no refunds, get a, Dr. Gonzalez. No, oh, so I'll still put a comment, <laughs> but I, I encourage you guys to put a comment in there. You will not regret it. It is awesome. And I know that... There's this vision for bringing fine arts into Elevate in the future, yes. and that's exciting. Happening fall 2023, we're ready. There you go. So the art, super important to me. I, I taught art at De Leon here in McAllen ISD. The arts is so beneficial. And again, when we talk about the two out of every three fifth and sixth graders, maybe we'll be three for three because people will be able to plug into the arts now. So that's exciting too. So to all the parents, all the students take part in the Boys and Girls Club of McAllen. You will not regret it. And it'll help us continue being a shining star as a school district. This partnership is powerful. It's second to none. I'll take our relationship anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world with regard to how a school district works with the Boys and Girls Club. And we'll compete with anybody. We'll, we'll, we'll outdo them. We'll outthink them. We'll outwork them. So we're excited. You, you'll really enjoy this, parents. So take part of that. So Delinda, Before we go, how can parents get their child involved in the Boys and Girls Club this summer? What do they have to do? Who do they call? For sure. So everything's online. So registration is online. If you do need um, some help, some financial assistance or a scholarship, then they will have to go in and, and, but call before and visit our website for all of the information. But otherwise you can just hop on our website at www.bgcmcallen.net. And we cannot wait to see all of you at summer camp, but if not ours, make sure someone summer camp. And don't forget that comment for a free, for a free, what That's is it? Right, what a are free they summer camp. Free summer camp. Free registration, $215 worth for free gratis, but you need to make sure to comment on there. Again, just tell us why your child should get that summer camp free registration. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the super talk today. Have a wonderful afternoon.